Hey everyone, it's James. And Stephanie. And we're here with the last of our videos from the South Texas RV Super Sale. Take a look at this one. This one is an eagle. It's an American coach. So beautiful. I know, and the kind folks at Ansira RV were uh, nice enough to let us come in this half million dollar coach and it basically get sweaty. <laughs> yeah, but first we're going to give you a tour before we do the workout because you got to see this beast. It's so beautiful. Yeah, I like the cedar closet, but I'm a woodworker, so the wood <laughs> thing kind of intrigues me. Well, I just liked all the woodwork throughout it. It was yeah. very luxurious, very traditional. But we're here to exercise, and so the first <laughs> exercise, we're doing all these on the sink now, and this one's pole squats. All right, so first one, you're going to put your fingers down into the sink and use your hands to pull you up and down doing a squat. Make sure you're pushing through your heels as you would with any squat. Most of your weight stays back on your heels. Did you know that about squats? You yes. want to keep your weight? Oh, good. Yes, I do. Good. But good. So, the, so the hands, it makes it sort of an assisted squat, right? It is. It's also working your triceps, if you notice how you're doing that pullback. Yeah. And it's working through your rhomboid, so it's working your back and your and, lats. And you get you get back like in a position where you couldn't actually balance without the sink, right? Exactly. All so, right, second one. Speed skaters. Yes. So these are sort of a jazzed up version of a lunge back. So basically you can tell I'm just lunging back, but notice how I'm holding onto the sink. I'm leaning out each time I lunge back, reaching my fingertips down to the floor and then arms straight forward. So you're putting like a little, doing a little work on your inner thigh on the- Exactly. Oh, yep, okay. we're adding our inner thigh to the quad and glute work. And it's also putting your core into it too with that little bit of a lean. Huh, okay. Oh, and now you're doing it the other way. Yeah. This is what it looks like from behind. So, and this takes a lot of hip work too. So this is good for stabilizing through your hips, strengthening your hip joints. Uh, notice how I'm just tapping my toe back. I'm not putting my whole heel down on the back foot. Weight staying on the front foot. That's important. All right. Keeping the weight on the front foot keeps your quad engaged. Exactly. Okay. Yep. Yep. And you don't have to go as far back as I am. Of course, if it hurts, don't do it. All right. Next. A lunge with nudge. I just came up with that name. I, I hope you <laughs> Very think it's okay. Very exciting. Very exciting names. Nice job. Okay, so now we're doing a cross back lunge. See how my leg is crossing back diagonally. Hands are switching. I have my left hand on, then my right hand is on. Arm is nudging back. The reason we're doing those nudges is so we can engage our back. We're adding, adding a back strengthening component. When you nudge back, you're squeezing in through your back. You're squeezing your shoulder blade into your spine. Almost so like an isometric thing, kind of? No, not so much because your arm is actually mm. moving. So it's not isometric where you're holding it. No, but it, but it is still strengthening through your back. And the last one, a push up with a reach or okay. a nudge. So prior to this, it's been pretty much a lot of legs, right? Your legs are going to be toast by this point. Yeah, yep, a lot of legs. But legs burn calories. Those are big muscles, so it's good to work our legs. Now we're working through our core and our upper body. So this is going to take some coordination too. You're stabilizing your body to reach up behind you and do that little bit of a twist, sort of a twist. Keeping your body in a nice kind of plank there. Yep, keeping it planked. So this is gonna work your lower back, strengthening through your lower back. Okay, now here's a variation. I'm doing the nudge again. If your RV is small and you can't get your arm up all the way. <laughs> oh, like ours. <laughs> or if you have a tight shoulder joint and those twists were too hard, this is another option for you. Just turn it into a nudge. So we're working our upper back again with this push up move. You're still getting the core twisty thing yep. going. Yep, so great for the core. I can't say enough about planking to work your core. So. And that's going to do it. That's four exercises from the super swanky American Coach Eagle. Great. And that's it from the South Texas RV Supercell. All right. Bye, thanks. everyone. Bye.